Thanks for joining us today in the garden. We are here with Craig from Grange Co-op and we are talking about spraying down some of those trees, specifically fruit trees this time of the year. You said spray on holidays, make sure that you're doing it ahead of the season. It's something people probably forget about before the season and then they're really upset when they're not seeing their fruit trees looking the way that they want to. How can this help you for some of those products? Yeah, so a lot of our fruit trees are very prone to various diseases that you wouldn't necessarily see on an evergreen tree or a regular ornamental tree. Uh, peaches are one of the biggest ones where every year, if you don't spray your peaches in the dormant period, you will get peach leaf curl, which um, is just a huge problem. You know, as soon as the leaves come out, customers flood into our stores asking how to solve this problem. The real answer is you solve that problem by doing your preventative spraying in the dormant period. The, pro the product to use for that is copper. This is the branded product is Liquicop, but you want to be spraying that copper, um, doing a full coat on the tree, on all the branches, on the bark. Um, and that really is the real one way to prevent that problem from happening. Another issue that can arise is you, you might have a lot of little insects that, that are uh, attacking your tree. And the horticultural oil is what you use for that. You wanna be spraying that on your trees after you've pruned, after the leaves have fallen off. That's when you wanna go out and do all your spraying. Like you mentioned, I, I joke around about doing it on all the major holidays. And it's really true. You wanna do uh, about three to four times during that dormant period from when the leaves fall off to when your new blooms come on in the year, you want about once a month. So I say, you know, do it Thanksgiving, do it Christmas, do it Valentine's Day, right? You wanna do it at a regular time, say maybe three to four times between November and February. You wanna make sure and get those sprays in or else you're gonna be one of the people coming in and asking us what to do about peach leaf curl. Yeah, and what a perfect way for you and your significant other to bond. Just get out there spraying down your trees Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Are you gonna you want to use both products at the same time on the same day? Yeah. Yeah, they don't interact badly, so you can do them at the same, um, you, can, you can spray one, then the other one. You don't have to like spray one and then wait a week and spray the other one. You can do them on the same day. Um, no problem with that. Okay, so how, how do we spray? So a few different um, options. If it's a really small tree, you don't have a lot to do. Uh, a lot of people just want to use a, a handheld sprayer like this, just like a pump sprayer. Um, you're going to mix it in. All of the bottles have the mixing directions. Really important to follow those mixing directions. Um, if you have quite a lot to do, there are options. This, this type of a, a sprayer here has, you can either hook it up as a backpack or you can actually pull it through your, through your small, you know, your home orchard. And that works really well as well. This actually is my favorite type. Um, this is a hose end, and so you can actually reach a lot higher and a lot farther because it, there's a lot of water pressure going through. What this kind does is you put the product in the basin here, and you set on the dial, there's a little dial that, to tell you how many teaspoons or tablespoons per gallon. And as it shoots through, it siphons up the correct amount. So you don't have to measure. And when you're done, you can put the whole bottle in here. What's left in this bottle is still a concentrate when you're done. So you can put it back in the bottle and reuse it. Okay, and can you show us kind of what it looks like? Do I need to back up? Absolutely, yeah, maybe. So, so well, like I said, my fa this is my favorite type because I can get a lot of coverage so I can and I can shoot it farther. So with this just you're just going to point and you're going to spray like that. And as I said, as it sprays, it's siphoning up whatever spray you're using into that. And when you get when you get done, everything that's left is still a concentrate. It's a really good way to go. Yeah, the holiday spray keeps the issues away. That's right. Okay. That's right. Every Christmas. Okay, perfect. Yeah, perfect. We know what you're doing during the holiday that's season. Right. Well, thanks for being with us today. And thanks for joining us in the garden. For more information on spraying down those trees, you can head to our website, kdrv.com, and we'll see you next time.